Central Time. Okay. Welcome back, and we have uh, Tim Alexander joining us. And again, uh, I mentioned this other host, and I won't mention the name, but uh, it, there's no such thing as a scripted war, especially World War III, and the moves that they're trying to force Russia through, and again, they have the report today, uh, this is reported through Fox News, Putin reportedly testing troops, combat readiness, and tensions in Ukraine. Yeah, there's going to be some false stories out, but the fact is Russia is being forced to act. They cannot have a Nazi state on their border. They cannot have a cutoff of their access to their oil and gas lines running through western Ukraine to the Europe. They cannot have the Black Fleet completely cut off from their access to the Mediterranean. And they cannot have a situation where uh, short-range missiles can strike the Russian missiles in their first strike offensive uh, just south of their border. It's just not going to happen. No, I, it, and, it, that's and, exactly and, right. It's not going to happen. And anybody who thinks that this they isn't a move for World War III, by the way, if they, there's two things. If, if anyone thinks, including this host, this, this guest, thinks that this isn't a move toward World War III, you're an idiot. And number two, what you should also realize, there's no such thing as a scripted outcome of war. War and economic chaos and everything the globalists have done, and we can give lots of examples, and Tim, I want you, you did some on the break, that they are not in control of anything, whether it's financial issues, well, they, regime they, you change, know, they, everything. They tried multiple times to get us uh, into a war in Syria with American um, uh, planes, ships, and uh, troops on the ground. They haven't managed to do that yet. Uh, and, and there are countless examples. These guys are not, uh, they're not God. They're not omnipotent. They're rich as can be because they're, they're, they're legal counterfeiters. But the point is, uh, they can't they don't control everything and what's no. what we've been seeing lately is there are there's a lot of high level opposition you know the british house of commons and i know some people in that you know uh the british house of commons uh, uh torpedoed the the big drive a few months ago to get uh the united states and the united kingdom and france uh into a land war in syria uh they said no we don't want world war three and they backed away from it and enough people in Congress silently were, were telling the Obama administration, we're not going to go along with it either. We don't want to die. It's you know what simple. Obama did in, in Libya? He said, I take my orders from the United Nations. He actually publicly stated that. This man has so many reasons to impeach him, it's just a insane. White House fool. Yeah. He really is. He's like a joker. It's like, this guy should come up in a joker outfit, you know, uh, with the king and queen Look, being the banks. The guy was a homosexual uh, crack or cocaine addict, along with Rahm Emanuel, and, and they, they, they were members of the biggest gay bathhouse in Chicago. That is a disgrace to this country. Right, and what well, he, what he was gonna, the third, cra the so, third so, cocaine so, addict so, in a row so, as president. So, so reality check is uh, this other person that contacted me says, Oh, you shouldn't let Tim Alexander get away with that. Excuse me, I second Tim Alexander's statement. It might not happen tomorrow or two years or five years from now, but this move, it was, and the regime change moves in Venezuela, the Middle East, and elsewhere, in interference with other governments such as Vietnam, etc. All these moves are globalist takeovers of territory all over the planet, including trying to force other nations that are in their Rothschild banking system. They are a move toward, and this move to do regime it's change a consolidation of power. It's, it's right. the, the drive to the new world order, but it can only result in Armageddon. Right, and this move, by the way, in Ukraine is the worst of any move that's been done in probably nine decades. Well, yeah. since uh, uh, since Trotsky, he wasn't right. called that then, but he, it was Trotsky, ran the multiple assassination teams that killed the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and his Marmaganic wife, uh, the Duchess Sophie. And that was, that was set up after years of maneuvering to create two rival alliances, the Allies and the Axis Powers. And they had to have a trigger, and that was the trigger they chose, and they made it work. Uh, the, the second attempt that day managed to kill both of them. Now, this is a trigger event. That doesn't necessarily mean that the World War III will happen tomorrow, but the point is, this is worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is insanity. And I, I maintain that it is clinical insanity because no rational, sane, 
human being would want World War Three because you right. all die. Right. And if you don't, you don't die, it, it, there, there's it, nothing left. Here's part of the psychopathy. You might be concerned about Agenda 21 and Nickley and other things like that. But if you make statements that you think that, they're, that, that the globalists are in total control, like I'm some omniscient super being of war, pestilence, and economic chaos, you're delusional, and you're actually part of the problem. Because this is what they try to teach each other in their high-level Masonic satanic organizations of we are the gods of this world. They're the gods of nothing. As I say, they can't even control their bowel movements, let alone war, <laughs> pestilence, or, or depression. So the fact is, this move is going to result in a response. And there's righteous people, there's good people in countries. We have a Christian leader, a Greek Orthodox leader in Russia, his name is Vladimir Putin, who looks at America with disgust and justifiable. Wow. I'm sad. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but most of the people in our Congress, and certainly in the administration, are nothing but crooks, thieves, liars, and 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 uh, people of the most despicable moral character you could possibly imagine. And the other thing, point people should, people should understand is that a silent Christian is not one. If you don't stand against evil and speak out against it, uh, then you are not good. If you, yeah, uh, you should we not were, give honor to leaders, you should not give honor to leaders, you should honor the presidency, the office of the presidency, but this man, Obama, and everything he stands for, needs to be spoken against, needs to be Absolutely. opposed in every way. Every Christian organization that doesn't oppose Obamacare is to me evil. And that means organizations like Focus on the Family and many others that basically are not saying, we refuse, we're going to do what's called civil disobedience. How about that? How about everybody who says now that Obama is going to expand the NSA database, we will do civil disobedience. We'll set up an encrypted phone network. We're not going to use your phones anymore, phone company. We're going to set up encrypted uh, uh, cryptocurrencies, and we're not going to use your American dollar anymore. We're going to use something else. We're going to barter through encrypted frequencies because, you know what, the government's actually stated that they don't want you to use more than a certain level of encryption string so the NSA can track you. And if you do bartering, which will ultimately, in, in some form of cryptocurrency, say based on gold, that you can completely sidestep the plan of the globalists to control and destroy your money. That's what their plan is. This year, they want a bank holiday, they want a bail-in, they want to take all your wealth away, and they want you literally begging for a bowl of gruel in a civil detention camp. That's what they want. And it may be in your own home. And it may be in your own home where you basically have no job, and you're literally living bowl of gruel to bowl of gruel, and they'll force vaccinate you, track you, make sure you have to wear a chip or some biometric analysis to track you. And people say, no, that's not going to happen. I'm saying it's inevitable. The technology the silent, is there. The silent co co compliant population that doesn't want to listen up. And when I hear so-called Christians that say that they have to be nice, niceness is second step from, from hellishness. You have to speak out against evil and take action against it. You know, Christianity is not uh, a, a, a for couch potatoes. Christianity it requires you actually do something, not just say, oh, I'm saved, or oh, I've been baptized, or oh, I'm a Christian. It's, it, and it's not, as we said yesterday, all dogs go to heaven, simply because at one point in your life you were baptized or you accept God doesn't mean that you can do anything or not do anything and, and uh, heaven uh, awaits you. You can throw, you still have free will, and you can throw your salvation away by your actions and inactions. And when the, the we have the most satanic, evil, demonic people on earth running the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, etc. And they are driving us towards, well, we're already in a global depression. They're driving us towards a, a global collapse, which will make the current depression look much worse. They're driving us towards a Third World War. We have police state fascism in this country and more and more all over. And they've trashed the American Constitution, which my ancestors, back to the Revolutionary War, fought for. Well, out of, four, out of 46 nations in terms of rating by the media for freedom of speech, we now rate 43 out of 46 nations. That's horrible. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah that's the example of where we're at. And, and when I hear comments by people who make statements, as I say, if you make stupid statements on my show or giving me advice of what I should or should I let other guests speak, I'm going to do an intellectual vivisection. And when this host comes back on, I'm going to take them apart.
Welcome back to the Nutramedical Report. And, uh, you know, this is the situation, uh, Tim. Uh, and I'm just going to run down to the menu. Uh, it's a card menu. Have you ever gone to a bar and you want to have a beer and maybe just an appetizer? Uh, well, you don't have to have a long menu to know what Russia is going to do. And I'm just going to use a little Russian accent. We can throw bridges to Crimea. We cross border. We take over capital cities. We can throw all ports, including Crimean ports, for the Russian Black Sea Fleet. We move to take over major communication satellite links. We close off all communications to other uh, to to allow Americans and Europeans to cross into Ukraine. We 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 station total news blackout and the the, the paratroopers we station paratroopers in, we station the, we station the, Iskander the, missiles on all the Russian borders with European sites and we lock on targets for American bases and ships. We tell Europeans we block communications and we tell them back off or we're going to push. Re- hard. That's the menu. That's what's going to happen, okay? Yeah, and I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to tell you, Whoop. there's two people on Earth you do not push against. That's Syrians and Russians. And they're pushing hard and they're going to get their they're going to get their nose bloodied and we're going to end up with the moves toward a disaster here and this is the worst thing i've seen in probably a century that's happened to the world well let, let's compare this to the cuban missile crisis now we're both old enough we can remember that i mean i remember the real fear in my parents and people i remember ducking cover in the classrooms uh you know where they the drill came in we had to get under our desk like that would done a lot of good for us uh i remember uh, uh, hearing a, a lady said she almost jumped out of her skin because uh, uh, somebody dropped a, a metal trash can and uh, she, she thought an a, a atomic bomb had went off. People were scared. I remember seeing the troop convoys heading towards Cuba and getting go, uh, goosebumps. I was a kid, and I want to tell you, it was scary. Now, uh, and the media, the media was all over it once the story broke. Now compare that now. Instead of dozens of, of news organizations, you have six Zionist ran globalist owned companies that own 96% of the mainstream media. One of my students in classes says, Well, I haven't heard anything about the Ukraine. Oh my God, you know. You've got to be uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, look, uh, this is not Cuba. The Soviets actually put tactical nuclear weapons in Cuba, and they had the equivalent of a division in Cuba. We didn't even know they had all those troops in Cuba. We weren't certain about the, 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 the nuclear riots. They were there, and the Cuban or the Soviet general said he had authority to use them and would have used them. We were that close to World War III then. Well, well, let, let, let me throw another... Cuba. That was thousands of miles from Russia. Okay, this remember is, how great... This is, was Russia. Let me give you the uh, the natives of of, uh, uh, of the of the uh, Arctic Circle, the Eskimos, and the natives of Central Australia, the Blue People. These are the best mechanical, best mathematical people by nature on the planet, other than Irish. By the way, the Irish are also very good at mathematics, and the Scots. But here's what here's the situation. I'm drinking too. They're fun to party yeah, with. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why they invented single malt liquor so the Scots wouldn't take over the world and. They invented, they invented vodka so the Russians wouldn't take over the world, but Putin, Putin doesn't drink, okay? So, yes. so here, here's the situation. We, we've got a, uh, a, a list of events that the globalists are trying to push. They're pushing economic uh, devastation by not dealing with Fukushima. And I have a paper which will be ready by tomorrow that will lay out exactly. I keep on hearing this sickening statement that makes me turn my stomach turn that there isn't a technical answer to, to reduce or eliminate Fukushima. And I'm giving specifics. People, I've had people actually comment, who do you think you are? Do you think you're smarter than all the nuclear scientists and engineers in the world? I say, I don't know if I'm smarter or not, but they're certainly not talking. And if I'm giving new and clear ideas as to what they can do, even if they can criticize them in a valid way, do it. Do it. Well, even call into the show. Look, but the problem look, is, look, Chris I, I, Harris, we have, to make, we have to make up a name for him. I mean, if they come out and say the truth, they'll be out of, out of a job for the rest of their life. Their profession, or, professional career or, is or, over. Or, or out of their skin because they'll be dead. Yeah, look, the fact is, the reason why they don't take me out is because if they kill me, you'll believe what I'm saying. 
You know, that's why I don't get invited on many other networks except the Rents Network because most people don't want to know know which box to put Deagle in. They say, well, is he really smart? Is he uh, psychotic, uh, schizophrenic, thinks he's talks to God? Is he uh, such and such? Is he deep, uh, like the Rudbot Project said, I'm deep CIA, NSA ops that are actually trying to manipulate people. Guess what? You need to get a, a life out there. I don't respect people unless they listen to the program. And I use two things. They use their intellect to actually ask better questions. And number two, they get quiet and they pray to God that what I'm saying is the truth or not. And I don't expect anybody to believe me. In fact, if you don't own the truth, please don't just blindly believe anything we say. But you need I, to understand. I you know, I, I tell people, I don't want you to believe me. I want you to think. Yeah, they have to own the truth. Make up your own mind. Think, read, so when, when, I hear, when, when I hear someone make a critical statement against one of my hosts, because by the way, if you get repeatedly on my program, you've been vetted. I mean, vetted more than any other program in this or any other network. You've been vetted by Deagle, which means what you're saying is 99% true or can be qualified so that we can understand what it means and it makes sense. And it also is not designed to be harmful or manipulate the public. There's a lot of what I call in the so-called truth movement, a lot of what I call bowel movement activity going on. A lot of narcissistic or mentally ill or just plain evil going on, manipulating, or people that are deep, what I call black op agents that are acting as an arm of the government, trying to infiltrate and destroy the truth. The fact is, what we're having right now is out of control. And the idea that anybody thinks that this is scripted or that it's controlled, or that the outcome's controlled, or that we're fear-mongering, we're, no, we're truth-mongering. And if you don't realize how late the hour is and get down to your face and pray, and pray for impeachment, and pray for rationality with Putin, and pray we can back off from this disaster and the disasters in Syria and, and Maduro. I mean, they're, they're literally saying now, and I think this is very probable, Here's the, here's the curveball. Venezuela has had relationships with armaments and other troop movements and training in Venezuela with Russian and Chinese. Both. And a lot of Cubans. A lot of Cubans, but a lot of Russians and Chinese. That's going to amplify dramatically. With this move in Ukraine, what do you think Russia's going to do? They're going to increase their forces. The Chinese have already put missile defense systems and missile silos in the Guatemalan Mexican border and in Venezuela aimed at America from the south, from the belly of America. Okay, so people need to get a get a, a life. You aggravate nations around the world, and you do drone kills, and you threaten countries, and you threaten economic chaos, which we're doing to China and Russia. What do you think is eventually going to happen? You're going to get fried, and America is being laid out basically as a target by all these nations to be destroyed. It is, and I'm going to quote the Bible. It says, "Behold, Babylon, the great mother of harlots and of abominations of the earth, in one day has come destruction to the cities of glass and steel." That's right out of, out of the small scroll prophecy. America should understand we're literally a whore nation. We're a whore. And we need to face the whoredom of what's going on and we need to repent. That whoredom is going to bring on our head something that's not in control by the globalists or the Satanists or anybody else. We're bringing whoredom on America. And when we participate in Obamacare or we don't speak out against American foreign policy and we don't push our congressman and senator and we don't get somebody like Keisha Rogers at least nominated, so she's got the Democratic nomination, to impeach Obama, and she's leading now 35 to 27 to the millionaire other candidate in the Democratic Party for Texas, for Houston area. What we're going to see here is we're going to see the devolution of America and eventually the nuking of America. We're talking about people saying, I'm hoping for the rapture. You won't want to hope for this rapture because it'll be a thermonuclear weapon with Russian symbols on the side of the missile. And, and Chinese and right Chinese. Yeah, you're, and you're, you're, gonna you're, see... you're exactly right. You know, D Dr. Bill Deagle and Tim Alexander, Lord Sterling did not create this mess. We didn't create the coup d'état that happened uh, in Kiev in the Ukraine. We didn't create uh, all the foreign paid terrorists that are fighting supposedly freedom fighters in Syria. But we, but we, we took the measuring rod that. and we took the Bible and we took literally the inspiration of the Most High God who cares about his people and has sent us as witnesses before a, a, a non-repentant and evil nation, just like ancient Israel when it decayed and became a pagan horror for her nation. And God pronounced that Israel was worse than the pagan nations around them because they had tasted of the fruit of the knowledge of the Most High God, and yet they still sacrificed their children to Moloch and Baal. It's now said that in, sta in many uh, states in the United States, 73% of all abortions now are black, with a black president. Put that in your pipe. What do you think of that? If you voted I for Obama first and second term, offensive and, to the Lord. 
And for anybody who is a black Christian should be deeply offended that the number of monies now going in to kill more black babies under Obama is an obscenity. And it's going to pay. It's going to result in some death and destruction. And if you think we're going to avoid this or say that somehow the globalists are in control and they're scripting it all and the outcomes are all scripted, I beg to differ. Well, folks, get right with God because this is far worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is a nightmare. Back in hour two, our health and wellness hour, Dr. Robin Bernhoff, former head of the American Academy of Environmental Medicine. We're going to talk about Fukushima and electropollution, much more. Reality Radio here at Nutramedical. Nutramedical.com, clayandiron.com. Welcome back, and I'll be posting up a uh, news blog and a Nutramedical a wellness blog right after the show, and you'll be seeing that, and it's all free. It's right up at Nutramedical.com, and do start visiting over at clayandiron.com. I'll be posting up a lot of new information over there. Uh, some of the latest things, and I'm going to just pull up some of the things from Drudge. DrudgeReport.com is really good. Uh, Google News, I use that sometimes. I use Yahoo News, many other news report services. Your news blog, which is your business with one S.blogspot.com, is amazing. You pull up the articles, you have some, uh, uh, what I call funny awards like the BS Award, and you have the Five Flag BS Award. Uh, Tim, a lot of people just think that because we eat and breathe this stuff, that we're exaggerating or we're fear mongering. We're not. In fact, if anything, we're toning it down, and 99.99% of what we have is in the published open literature. We're not in make manufacturing anything. In fact, whenever I do a news blog, I post the actual article so they can see it right there on the screen and say, Deagle didn't invent this. He just actually read. He just went and did research, which literally within the day of the information age now, you can pull up information from Reuters and IP New, uh, Newswire or whatever. You can actually pull these up in seconds, and you can do search terms, and you, all of a sudden it's like right there. Video blogs, Vimeo, YouTube, it's all right there. For example, they show a picture of Obama pointing his finger as Uncle Sam, IRS, Obamacare tax must be paid. Obamacare tax means you're going to pay for abortions. And then we have, of course, the leader of the pack, Ron, Rand Paul. And again, I get very nervous about all these people in the Republican Party because I don't want them to kind of just curry the, the pro-life vote when they're actually pushing for austerity fascism and, quote, a balanced budget in the middle of a, middle of a depression. Yes, if you want to control food stamps, you need to make sure it only pays for healthy, organic food, not movies, not booze, not being able to be used in Mexico and then people dirty take their food stamps down there whatever we wanted here we also want to make sure that we deal with the double budgets going on in all the municipalities and states where they're basically using american pension funds to invest in overseas countries i don't understand why we trade with china when they create so much pollution their own city beijing is un unlivable and yet that pollution blows right across the pacific and we 83 percent plus of the heavy metals in our food here in america growing in our veggies and our food comes from China, China, the obscenity of China. And when, you, when China. you test our food supply, pretty much across the board, even in many organic foods, you're seeing heavy metals. Well, not only that, you think, like we talked about this yesterday with Dr. Uh, Ted Brower, and we're going to continue that dialogue about the idea of glyphosate. And I'm an environmental doctor, and I can tell you, I understand how glyphosate, which is a pesticide used here, causes gluten sensitivity and celiac disease. It's not used in Europe, so if you have pasta, if you have bread in Europe, and you have celiac or gluten sensitivity, it doesn't happen. Same way we use a thing called RIMSO-80 in cleaning the pasteurizing machines and dairies across North America, U.S. and Canada. And guess what? If you give a child that has milk sensitivity raw milk, they don't react. You know, the same with these stacked vaccines. And then in Oregon, they want to pass a law so that parents are going to have to get a note from their pediatrician. And the pediatrician has to browbeat you of you being so bad that you would let your child not get five vaccines stacked that will cross the blood-brain barrier with heavy metals. DNA and toxic adjuvants. These people are nuts. And, and, and I the little tell bottle people, that he's sticking the needle in uh, has thermal seal. Uh, uh, that it, the needle's going through, and thermal seal is uh, what causes. Uh, um, oh, help me out here. Um, you're talking about bisphenol A and endocrine disruptors and so on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. look, but uh, those are. 
are all what I call uh, uh, kill programs that the the New World Order. Well, and I, that's why I also say you have to get on Nutrimeds. You have to get on our protocols and get off the toxic drugs. Whether you're treating diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, chronic fatigue, osteoporosis, we have a protocol for everything, and you have to get off them. And one of the most, the first thing is not just food, water, and shelter. It's food, water, shelter, and natural health care. If you don't have skill sets to soap a wound, to deal with a fracture, and take natural medicine to keep yourself well and healthy and fit during a time when the healthcare system and every brain breaks down, because it's going to occur in spasms. The first spasm that's going to be real serious will be this year. There'll be a bank holiday and there'll be a devaluation of the currency, probably 65 to 70 percent. And people will go back to work and they'll try to survive and on their meager incomes, but the globals will just get that much more control, just like they did after Oklahoma City and after 9-11. This next thing, they're going to literally declare martial law for probably one to two weeks. That's what their plan is. Their plan is to devalue the currency, and this is a form of economic warfare against Russia and China. When that happens, Russia and China and these other second world countries have got 18% interest now to prevent capital flight, they're going to collapse. We're talking about worldwide depression once we see a bond market run, and that can happen with Japan, with their now reactivating nuclear reactors that they shouldn't be because they're dangerous. A lot of them have serious damage still done to other reactors besides Fukushima. We have the, the Middle Eastern countries like Turkey, 18% interest, South Africa, all these other countries, and people just say, oh, this is just an American problem. No, it isn't. It's the globalist bankers finally seizing for control of the whole world. And this is the moves toward a peace treaty, which will literally capture everybody and force them to take the authentication mark of the beast. That's if, what we're hitting. If you don't understand that all this is interlinked, I question how intelligent of a human being you are. Well, and people, people will focus on one issue. Read. People will focus on one issue. They focus on the environmental agenda and policies for energy control. I mean, if let's say my home needed five thousand or ten thousand dollars remediation, and let's say I couldn't afford it, uh, and they put a lien on my home, uh, how likely is it they're going to get away with doing this with every home in America? Do you know they calculated the cost? Just of putting in smart meters was going to be somewhere around fifteen trillion dollars in the next ten years. Well, it trillion. wouldn't be that bad because the smart meters will, will, will kill off a certain percentage of the population, so it'd be a little bit less than that. Well, the the, the point is, it's just like Obamacare. Uh, when it blows up, when people realize that they go to Obamacare, go to the hospital, yeah, I got insurance now, and they realize the doctor says, oh yeah, we can see you, and uh, we'll bill you for your insurance, but then there's a giant copay. And the thing is, you don't have to pay it right away because this copay is set up, but you get 0% interest for the first six months. Now, you still have a fixed income because you've got maybe two Mick jobs, right? And at the end of six months, they you last time you with... in Walmart. Right, so now you get hit with 15 to 18% interest, and you got to pay these super high interest, and as Obama says, Obamacare tax must be paid. Now, he's literally changed, I think, like 27-plus statutes in a law, which, again, is unconstitutional. To take a law passed by Congress and tweak parts of it is unreasonable. You can't do that. You either pass a law or you don't. If the bill had... He's not a king. No, he's not an emperor. Well, he's worse than that, because even the ancient kings would uh, deal with his advisors. He doesn't. He just decides what he thinks is right or wrong and just goes ahead and pr produces it. This is totally satanic. I mean, that's the basis of Satanism is to always, you know, it's like, as I said, the first thing that Satan said to God is, God, I got this. And in the, in the realms of heaven, God shuddered. And you can see, he would say, oh, my first and most brilliant created being finally said, I got this. In other words, Satan thought he knew more than the creator God and said, God, hey, I'm so perfect, so wonderful, so beautiful. I got this, God. That's the basis of evil, and Obama is a perfect minion of this, of Satan himself. That's why when you listen to reverse speech from uh, uh, David John Oates, you can hear this man saying, thank you, Satan. You know, when he said, you know, <laughs> when, he's first, when he's first elected, he could, I believe he, over and over again, thank you, Satan, thank you, Satan, in reverse speech, it's like, oh, you want to pull your hair out and say, do not people understand, and then we got Hillary Clinton cackling, literally like, right out of the Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West, and they parade out this woman, and say she's the chief Democratic candidate for 2016. It's like she's got a spiritual brain tumor in her. You know, she's got it's called an avatar by a demonic entity that's a 16 foot Draco reptilian monstrosity. This is a husk of humanity, literally born out of multi generations, cursed by your parents and your grandparents well, going back look, look, for many you have, years. You, these people 
print their own money. It's called the Federal Reserve System. And there have been multiple cases of trillions of dollars, you know, in, in Federal Reserve bearer bonds. Just, uh, remember the incident in the Philippines where they caught right. this guy? They were real, and that got buried, and there was an incident in Italy, and that got buried. Right. Uh, and the trillions of dollars missing from the Department of Defense that uh, was uncovered and announced on 9-10, a few hours before 9-1-1 happened, and then everybody right. forgot about it. Look, these people print infinite money, and they buy off all the politicians. Almost every politician is bought off by them. And if you're not, well, they'll get rid of you, they'll marginalize you, but they control everything, and they're demonic, and they want to kill most of us. Thank God for Putin saying yes, yes. <laughs>